Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Car Wash Network Live. I'm Matt DeWolf. With me today is Orlando Scott from Zips Car Wash. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, Matt. So, uh, Orlando is a recipient of the International Car Wash Association's uh, Emerging Leadership Scholarship. So, what was that like to, to be honored with that Emerging Leaders Award? It was, um, it, it was a lot of emotions at once. Uh, it's, it's great to uh, be recognized for the whole world. I, I know my family was really excited about it. Our company was really excited about it. Uh, so, it, it was like winning the Heisman in car washing. <laughs> it, it doesn't happen a lot, so it, it was really great. Good, good. So um, one of the things uh, I think that you were recognized for was just kind of your overall um, work ethic and determination and desire to just keep kind of getting better. Why, why have that mentality? Why is that something that you want to keep going? Well, I, I, I say my family drives me. You know, I, I want to give my three-year-old everything that I didn't have. Uh, so when I wake up every day, like, she, you know, she's what gets me up. Uh, and to show her that, you know, it, and to show other people that, you know, you can really make it in car washing. It, it's not what people think, you know, there's, there's one movie about car washing and it's, it's not a very good movie. <laughs> no, no. So to show people that, hey, there's more to it and you really can uh, do great things in the industry, that, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a good feeling. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about how you got started in the industry and kind of your path to today. Yeah, so my mom and dad owned a mom and pop detail business when I was younger. Uh, so my, my dad, at seven years old, made me go out there and clean cars. <laughs> I, 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 I did not enjoy it at all, um, but he instilled hard work in me at a very early age. Uh, so when I got in high school, I told myself, like, I told him, I'm never going to do car washing. I'm going to get as far away as I can. Uh, so I definitely had different dreams and aspirations, and it wasn't car washing. Got in high school, I was like, you know, hey, I want a part-time job and I don't want to work with mom and dad. Yeah, so I yeah. went down to a local car wash supply there, uh, got the opportunity to come on board as a part-time CSA in high school. Um, and really enjoyed it. I mean, I really enjoyed the customer side of things, the, the team members, the internal customers. And so that right there is what took off. Uh, I kind of climbed the ropes there at that company, um, did really great things. Uh, we parted ways uh, due to an acquisition. Uh, and so then I had the opportunity to join Zips in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. Uh, so we moved to Knoxville, Tennessee, um, and uh, I started out as a site manager there, and that quickly went to multi-site manager, uh, then to district manager over 18 car washes, uh, and it was great. I mean, you got to live in Tennessee, right, uh, right, and oversee 18 car washes, so it was really good. So 18 car washes, you oversee 18. 18. All right. So what? What keeps you up at night when you're talking Ooh. about 18 car washes? What keeps me up at night? People showing up the next day. <laughs> it's a uh, it's 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 tough, uh, but if you have a good support team behind you, uh, I always look at it like this: worst comes to show, yeah. the door closes at eight o'clock. Yep. So you can at least go home and enjoy family time and get up and do it again the next day. <laughs> uh, good thing is it's not 24 hours. Uh, so as long as you you know tackle day by day, hey, let's be great today, focus on today, and if we make it to tomorrow, we'll focus on tomorrow tomorrow. So. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think the, uh, the key is for um, Zips, in particular, uh, providing an excellent customer experience at the wash? Oh, you gotta, you gotta treat everybody like you wanna be treated. You know, that's the golden rule. And also, yep. customers are always a customer. You know, that's what it's all about. I mean, without customers, of course, we're not, you know, we're not getting any money. Right. So you gotta treat those customers the way you wanna be treated uh, and, and have fun with it. It's, yeah, you, you know, you're gonna deal with some, <clears throat> you're gonna deal with some, some upset people sometimes, but always try to make their day better. And if that's what your main focus is, focus is, you, you'll do great things. So we were uh, talking before we got going here about um, we're sitting really right now in front of the show floor. We can see all the uh, the booths and the equipment and the brushes and everything you could ever want yeah. in a car wash. Um, but we were talking about how you know the equipment is important and you need to invest in it, but that's not what makes a difference. So what makes a difference? The team, it, it's all about the team, you know. I, of course, yeah, when we look at car washes, we're like, oh man, look at those, you know, those right. top brushes, right. you right. know. Uh, but the customer, they don't see that. You know, they see that smile. It, express car washing is very hard because you have three minutes to capture that customer's attention. Yeah. Uh, so their first impression is the biggest one. Uh, you really gotta figure out how you're different because that's what they want. Or, or if not, they're gonna go down the road. Yeah. So smile, treat that customer nice, you know, give them, five minutes, three, three minutes out of your day uh, to capture that customer and they're gonna come back. You know, get to know their names. Oh, hey, Mr. Benjamin, hey, yeah, get to know them uh, and that's what they're looking for.